Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm so excited to show you the completed bracelet that I made with these lovely beads from the John Bead Curiosity Box. So I used a lot of seed beads that are my own, but I did use the, the beads that got me going to inspire me to create this bracelet came from their Curiosity Box number two, Carnival, which it looks like there's still some available. And just to let you know, to keep your eye out, they should be releasing uh, box number three this week. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. So I'm <laughs> super excited for that. So these lovely um, yellow beads were part of the box number two which is the theme is carnival so this was the pin they've been including a pin in the um in the boxes uh the first one was a mermaid pin and it was two mermaids sitting on the rocks so beautiful i am gonna do i may end up creating um a bracelet like this for each uh box just because <laughs> I love the idea of um, using the pin. Like, I, I'm a big component of bezeling things, and I like to have women's images on my jewelry. So this is just, for me, amazing. And, of course, I had to do something with it. So, yeah, it turned out pretty spectacular. So the other beads, there was lots of these um square tiles that are one whole beads and uh, I, I think I need to come up with a design to do a bracelet like a bead weaving bracelet with those tiles as well because there were so many left over and then these lovely uh, little orange daggers mini daggers were there and um, these were my own but the image pass so there there's a card um I didn't you know I'm kind of not organized right now I've got a bunch of stuff on the go so I should have the card with me but anyway her headdress has feathers and as soon as I saw those feathers I pulled out my daggers that have the the laser um printing on them I knew right away they needed to go in that so these I got these quite a while ago maybe a couple of years ago and I did use them in a design but had a few left over so it was like this is perfect I had like I may have maybe four more of the green ones and I think I used all the blue ones but um yeah it turned out amazing if you like doing bead weaving this to me is like the best way to improve your skill with bead weaving because you can do whatever you want there's no no rules you just put the beads where you want them so that's why I like this design so much are they doing um, a bracelet like this and this is a metal brass form so you can open it like I, I don't want to pull too hard because this fits my wrist <laughs> But you can make it so that it fits somebody with a bigger wrist. So I'll just show you the inside is faux leather. And uh, I, of course, I had to pick turquoise to go with all the color of the beads. And then you just outline it with these, um, I think it's called brick stitch along the edge. Super easy. So um satisfying doing the the stitch along here because it's super easy to do and it's the final step in the bracelet so it really um makes it like you're like okay I'm done it's, it looks amazing kind of thing this is very satisfying I guess is what I'm trying to say so what else did I use in that oh these gorgeous pearls um I, I might have put those a little higher so you could really see them. They were kind of a a gold orangey um, look to them. They had a really cool finish on them. So yeah, this turned out super cool. So let's see what it looks like on. 
Ta-da! Isn't that amazing? So cool. So this is the finished bracelet. Super quick video. Um, I I have mentioned before, if you're interested in do, I can do some bead weaving, like um, bead embroidery videos. I feel like you kind of need to have a design that you start and complete, but we can do some, you know, maybe a series on how to start it, how to design, things like that, if you're interested. Or I could do like maybe short 30 minute videos in the mornings showing where the progression of a certain bracelet is. But I'm always open to suggestions, so <laughs> feel free to uh, let me know. I do find that it's it's super hard to do in a video. So that's why I don't particularly do the whole thing in a video. I just show you the steps. But um, we can do something interesting. So that's it. So thank you to John Bede for sending me one of those curiosity boxes. Um, the number number two is where this came from, the carnival. So this is spectacular. <laughs> Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.